Hey, yo. <clears throat> so, I figured what I would do today is just some different kinds of tenders out in the wild. With it being winter and 70 degree weather in January, I figured I'd come out here and showcase some of the different kinds of tenders you have during the um, winter and fall. So, right off the bat, we got here is a down tooth poplar tree. We got two of them actually. And once they've been down for a while, the bark will start to deteriorate. And because tulip poplar bark is extremely fibrous, it will make a great tinder. As you can see on this thinner branch right here, Pull some of that off, pull some of that off, some of that, and some of this, this right here, and some of this down here as well. You know, it just turns into this mess right here. And then you could just process that for a while, and boom, you want to have yourself a nice little in a bundle for whatever. Okay. On to the next some kinds of different tenders in drier weather. With it being winter and fall, you would think leaves would make a great tender. Actually, to make a free poor tender, it is possible to get a fire going with them. Because I have done it on multiple occasions, <clears throat> but they're really not the best tender in the world. Everybody thinks dry leaves are some of the best things in the world. No. I'm afraid not. Something that does make a pretty good tender if you can find it dry and rotten enough. Punk wood. Really rotten wood. If it's dry enough and rotten enough, it will indeed take a spark like nothing else. I'll tell you what, I find some of the weirdest bottles down here. For those of you who probably like collecting bottles and old bottles and stuff like that, this would be like a, a heaven for you. <clears throat> but I'm going to keep on moving. I'm going to put these two right here. And, ooh, looks like something's been messing around right here. Very disturbed leaf litter. Anyway. I see, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's kind of cool. I know animals like to go up in there. Okay, anyway, back to the original video. Different tenders and stuff like that. Okay. Um, dry grass is a great one. I love dry grass. We're coming up on some dry grass right now. i show you how you can get the driest grass out the dry grass. Okay, you see all that dry grass? Let me make sure I can... Okay, what you want to do is you want to take your hands, make like a rake with them, and just rake. And that's going to give you the driest grass and the dry grass. Because it's going to leave all that green stuff left behind. That's that showing. And just like that, very easy tender bundle.
Now this isn't exactly a tender, but if you do stumble upon a shag bark hickory that makes a great kindling, and really the bark can be used for so much. Okay, that's a shag bark hickory if I haven't shown you before. It's called a shag bark because it's really shaggy. Okay. That's a picture of here. Now you can use this in shingles. You can use it for shin guard to protect your legs and knees from sharp, pokey, painful things like briars and sharp sticks. And, um, you could use it to protect your fireboard if you're using a bow drill or hand drill from the wet ground. You could also use it to catch your coal and so on. I mean, it's a lot of things you can use it for. I might be wrong, but here. You see this stump right here? It looks like an old pine or cedar. And if it is, it's going to be some fat wood down in there. If I can get it up off the ground. You know what? I don't think the thing will come out. So, let me just see if I can get some of this wood. Look at that, right on the surface. Oh, that is prime fat wood. Come here, look at this. Look how red that is. This is prime fat wood right here. This stuff is amazing. What makes it so great is how flammable it is. Now, like these little shavings I'm using the serrations to create. If you hit those with a spark, they will catch on fire. This wood is just so packed full of resin. I mean, I can feel the resin. And it's too windy for me to show you just how great this stuff really is. Especially when it's this prime. Good God, I really want to get this out of here. Tell you what. Oh, take a chunk out with my saw. Or not. Well, I guess I should if I sat here. It's not that big of a deal. God. That is extremely rich though. Actually, I think I've got a small idea here. There we go. I got myself a piece of fat wood. Look how red that is, though. All right. I couldn't get the whole stump out, so 
I just took a chunk out of it. <laughs> and there's my chunk. Look at that. If you smell it, it smells really strong like turpentine. Anyway. Um. So I'm going to carry on back through the woods here and um, look for more tinder. Alright? Alright, okay. Here's one you should watch out for. Fuzzy van, fuzzy vans. Fuzzy van, like your arm itchy. Well, if you burn it, it might make everything in you itchy. Fuzzy vans, my recollection, are typically or always poison ivy or oak. So don't do it. Now, if you're wondering why I'm carrying a big old stick, it's because it's a dry piece of tulip popper. And, um, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I'll do this. Okay. Right over here. Does that want to tell me what I'm about to talk about? Take a guess. Take one guess. Hey, yep. The Ripper Birch. Okay. These things are amazing. You've seen me use this stuff time and time again. I love it so much. It is my favorite tree around here. Just because of how easily the bark lights up and how many uses the bark has. It is so packed full of resin and oils and stuff that flammable it just lights up and burns hot and somewhat quick a good pile of that will light up pretty much any kind of kindling you got and I've got the stick perfectly balanced and I'm just walking that's kind of cool to me anyway um got one more kind of tender to show you and I'm also going to Demonstrate that fat wood when it burns for y'all. Okay, so let me get on up here. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> this is the last tinder I'm gonna talk about today. And it's really the same thing as dry grass. The only difference is, is it comes in pre-groups. It's already grouped for you. How I like to use it. Decorated nice. Cut it close to the base. Break it. Break it. And break it. Break it again. Just kind of fluff it around. And there you go. This makes a great fender. That's all I used to use, and it. It's um, you can use it to get your bodro um, coal going into a flame as well. So, see y'all in just a second. So I stopped off in my neighbor's barn, where the wind isn't nowhere nearly as bad. So I can um, show you how this fat wood burns. This fat wood is just awesome. The only thing I hate about matches, I need to put a lighter in there. Ouch. Okay. Look how quick that is. How it just burns on its own. And the moment I hit that thing with a match, just whoosh, it went. That's fat wood. Now, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description for a channel called Ultimate Outdoors 1. It's another channel that I'm also um, on now. Um, just check it out. And 
You know, if you like it, subscribe. If not, okay. Um, but I will be still be doing videos on this channel, as you can see. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and comment, please. I love it. It's appreciated and everything too. So. Something I'm gonna start seeing if I can get more people on here. With me. So, anyway. Like, subscribe, and comment. See y'all on the next video.